hello welcome in this video i'll be showing you how to run facebook adverts for your product that you want to sell and then this is just a standard um, procedure you can use to run facebook adverts but then there are courses detailed on facebook adverts but for the sake of this video i'll be showing you how to run an advert that will at least convert and then generate sales for you so let's get started um i'm on one of my facebook accounts and i'll be using this to run the adverts so in running adverts i need you to understand that um the kind of advert we'll be running here is called conversion and we are not directing people directly to the sales page but we are trying to actually get leads then we will now follow them up via email for them to buy so we'll be running a kind of ad called conversion and to create your ad you can come to this place and click on them create you you see advert you can click on this then or you can as well come to um, this drop down arrow here click on manage ads then it's going to be take you to your ad manager now if this is your first time of um, running trying to run ads on Facebook then you have to create an ad account once you click on create ad or manage ad it will prompt you to create an ad account whereby you will select um, the the currency and other details that you'll be using to run your advert and I would advise you that if you don't have a debit card that has a um, um, that 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 can perform international transaction i would advise that you use um, naira as your currency so that you can pay with your naira card and this is one of my naira uh, facebook accounts where i run ads with my naira card so i'll click on this this takes me to my um facebook manager where i see all the ads i've been running so far why this this place takes me directly to the page where I will start running adverts is coming up. Yeah, this is it. This is the page where I will start running advert directly. Oh, it's out. Let's work. Okay. Um, it's coming. Let's see. Let's hold on for some time. Okay, let me try this. Let me try and see if this will, will load. Okay, while we wait for it to come up, I want to also um, make you, I want to also make you understand the fact that when you're running adverts you need to know your audience you must have a target audience and then not just having a target audience you must know the kind of persons you are running the advert to your advertising to their age their gender their location and their, their interest and we must have carefully analyzed your audience and because we wouldn't want to actually run ads and give facebook dash facebook money and at the end your ads will not fall on the screen of people who are really interested in what you are offering so and it is what you tell facebook that facebook gives back to you if you tell facebook show my advert to people that like dancing facebook will show your advert to people that like dancing so if you say facebook show my advert to people that like eating that like food foodies facebook will do that so you must understand them your audience and why running why setting up your ad they will definitely ask you to describe the kind of audience you will be advertising to okay let's click on create ad i think my network i'm having some issues with the network here because this should have loaded but the network is not going to stop us we're going to um, create our adverts and nothing as well is that um that is what we call 
Facebook business. Facebook business. Facebook business helps you to as well run ads. You can have um, an advert account on your normal Facebook account, and you can have another advert account on your Facebook business account. So I um, think at this point we have to try our Facebook business account because the network is actually disturbing. Sorry for that. I we'll have to move on. So um, I would like to I'll show you something from here. Now at this point, I would like to create an audience. I would like to create an audience, and uh, the first thing I would do here is to search for. Let me search for audience insight. The 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 tool is quite a hidden tool. Before, when you come to this ad manager, you can easily find it here. But since Facebook updated their interface, um, it's no longer easy to be found. So you just come to the search bar here as soon as you come to your ad manager you come to the search bar and search for audience insight this is a tool that will help you to actually um group your audience and they create an audience that you will be advertising to so let me let me go to my facebook business manager so if you want to create a um, facebook business account all you need to do is to go to um business dot facebook.com and you will be able to have a facebook business account let's see if the audience inside too is done looking it's coming up now there are there are two ways to actually um define your audience you can define it directly from the audience inside too or you can define it while creating your advert they will ask you to define your audience or to use an already saved audience that is audience that you have already predefined before running the advert so either ways okay the drop down has loaded so you click on uh, this is my business manager account now click on it okay so this is my um, Facebook business account this is one of them I have a couple of them and Facebook allows you to create more than one business account so uh, let's go to running ads let's go to the advertising proper so um, here I'll come over here and I'll click on business manager I'll click on my ads ads manager now why I had to use this business manager is because I want to show you I want to show you how to run ads. Now whether you are running ads via uh, Facebook business manager or you are running ads via your normal Facebook account it's still the same thing but it's just that Facebook business manager gives you some ages on uh, running ads in the sense that you can have one or two or three ads account. So but the, why I have to switch over to business manager is because my um, create page is not loading. I'm having some network challenges with it. So I want to try out uh, business manager. But the procedure is the same. So all I want you to do is to understand the procedure. Okay, so when you click on ad manager, it's going to bring an interface like this. This interface shows you um, the adverts you have been running and uh, the results of the adverts and the performance of the advert. But for this page, nothing will be shown because there is no ad that has actually been um, created on this account. So I'll click on create to create new advert. So I'm clicking on create here to create new advert I have I have a dollar Facebook account and a Naira Facebook account I use them interchangeably to run ad but this is one of my Facebook accounts that I opened Facebook manager account that I opened that I've just left um, unused so this is the interface this is what I've been trying to show you so when you click on create ad whether you 
you you go to create ad from this um, point click on ads or you come to it from this point ads manager manage manage ads and there uh, you click on create it's going to bring you to this interface now here facebook asks you for your objective these are different reasons why you are running ads we have brand awareness reach traffic engagement app installs video views lead generation message and it's for messenger conversion um, catalog and sales so they'll ask you for uh, the ob the objective why you are running your ad and uh, for this uh, purpose we'll be using conversions most times I use traffic and conversions so we'll be using conversions so when you click on conversion it's going to load up here and you'll give it a name so that you can be able to uh, trace and track your ad In our detailed Facebook course, uh, I explained uh, step by step all these objectives, how they work, and their their purposes. So at this point, I will click on um, I will call it um, test. I'll call it okay. Let me, let me call it um, ultimate ads. And I'll click on it. Continue. I'm going with the campaign. I selecting my objective. Here they will bring me to my ad set, and this ad set has different different sections that you need to set up properly so that your ad will run. So you can you can come here as well and, and uh, change the name so that you would you would um, remember and you can put it and you can add the same name that you gave to your objective here so that you will know that the same objective name is the same one for ad set and the same one for ad so um, ultimate ultimate ads we just leave it there at ultimate ads now another thing you, you need to understand why running a conversion ad is that they will ask you to choose an event you are the, the an event is the purpose of your of your advert and here we'll be choosing lead let's look at lead can you see lead we should choose lead I'll select it select lead I'll be explaining to you what pixel X before the end of this um, video so then after um, selecting lead in your pixel that that is to say that your conversion you are running conversion for people that will sign up for your free gift not for sales there are different um, events whereby um, people choose for conversions and then we have a whole lot of them but one of them is lead and that is what you will be using to run most of your ad dynamic creative i will leave it at off the way it is offer off then the, the most important thing here again is your audience now if you have a saved audience you can you can um, select any of your saved audience from here like i just can see i have some saved audience and this is an audience from 20 to 50 years and these are their interests people who match this interest and there uh, but it, on your own end you can you can uh, create your own audience as well we have custom audience custom audience is a, is a different kind of audience 
this has to do with retargeting and then remarketing so here you can decide to market to people outside nigeria by changing the location you can decide to change the location come to nigeria or even add uh, two more locations you can decide to add united united states So that means that you are running this advert is for people in the United States and in um, and in Nigeria. So let's scroll down. After you have uh, selected your, your your country, then you can as well narrow it down to maybe a particular locality. Let's say you want to target those living in Lekki, Lagos. You just type Lekki. And select the area so you can narrow it down to a particular area as long as that area is Google mapped then you select your age the age bracket that you want to see your ad the gender the age bracket that you want to see your ad the, the minimum and the, and the maximum the gender do you want is your ad for women alone or for men or for both? Then here says detailed targeting expansion. I will leave it the way it is. Then I will come to another thing I need to do is uh, is my placement. Most times I like um keeping it on manual. I like selecting the places I want my advert to I show up. Now, if you want to advertise to people using maybe mobile phone alone, you can edit, edit it here from all devices and select the device that you want to advertise to. Maybe those using Android, those using desktop or computer alone or both. As you can see, what is here is all devices. So you can decide mobile or desktop. Then I, as I go further, I, I like on checking messenger because i know that most of my um, uh, um serious um clients or target audience may not really be on messenger i like the activating audience network as well yeah, but for for the benefit of you that is a um, beginning you can decide to leave it so that you may get maximum results or as much result as you as you can then I will check these are places that your ads will be shown possible possible places so you can decide to tell Facebook I don't want my ad to be shown in this area on Facebook or in that area because you have mastered those places so um, after you are done after you're done you should come down to budget and scheduling now you can decide to run a daily a daily budget or a lifetime budget meaning that every day you are spending twenty dollars or if you are saying a lifetime budget it means that for a certain a given period of time you want to spend twenty dollar so lifetime you now set the date this means that you are running um advert for a very for a given period of time you can set the date here the time and when you want the ad to start and stop you can decide to set it to be this then you can decide to change your um the the cost the the budget that you have maybe to 50 if that is your if that is your um, budget and at this point we click on continue to come over to add okay um, I need to show you something in the place of audience now when when choosing an interest people that you want to advertise to I, I, I think I didn't touch on that I want to show you something about that right now it means that um, we are running ad to everybody in this locality which our ad will definitely may not really give us the result that we want 
so here you can you, you can add the interest of of people that you are targeting who are the people you are targeting all languages and the rest of them so at this point you come down to to this and you now put your interest let's say you want to target students students you just type students and you select so many uh, classes of students or categories or interest of students who show up and their size you select the ones you are actually uh, targeting or that might be similar to what you are having in mind then you can decide to select this let's say students union then you want to also uh, target page admins those that have facebook page account just type page admins facebook page admins um let's say you also want to target um pastors as well just type in pastors so any interest that uh, is not found on facebook facebook will tell you that they don't have such interests available let's see we're looking at pastors okay there's no pastors here but we have past pastors.com so you can as well uh, or pastors and as well select it and type church leaders so the the bottom line is that this is where you this is where you define in detail the kind of people that you want to see your adverts those that you want their your advert to be shown to this is where it is being determined then after you're done we can come back to our you can click on next so this sorry this audience size shows you the 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 largeness of the audience and this, this gives you the, gives you the estimated daily results the results you are probably going to get in a day so click on continue okay so just as we did, we'll give it a name to call it ultimate ads so we can remember that the three of them are linked. Ultimate ads. Okay, so here they will ask you the page. I remember for you to run an ad, you must have a page on Facebook. They will ask you the page you want to use to run your adverts. And the, the page must be connected to you. You must be an admin or an editor. So I can decide to select any of the pages that I have here. Okay, let me just use this because these are the ones that I've actually added to this uh, Facebook uh, business account. Select this. Now they ask you if you have an Instagram account. That is for those of us that want to run our ad as well on Instagram. We can if there is it's going to automatically detect one if there is none to be left blank so at this point this is where another job is done this is where you have to create your ad now are you creating a carousel ad or a single image ad or a collection ad so but for the purpose of this video we'll be using a single image ad and another thing is are you using an existing post do you have a post that is already existing in your in, in, in your page and you want to use it or you want to type in a fresh post all together so for this um story i will be typing in a fresh post all together so and before now i have already got my uh, my ad copy ready so all i need to do i'll just come here and copy it i'll come i'll copy and i'll click on a uh, primary uh, tell people what your ad is all about I've paste it but for you you can type it here but it's always advisable to um, type your ad copy 
outside here so that you can proofread it and uh, carefully use it then um, the headline I will caption the headline how to monetize your knowledge the description here is optional then since we are sending people to the to the page so we need to copy this link now copy it and I'll paste it here you can need all of these as well I want to change the text here I want to paste it completely all control a control V okay so the next thing we need to do is to upload our image upload our image the image will be using to run this ad I've already designed it so all you need to do is, is you come over here and you click on add media add media you can either choose an image from your uh, page account or you can upload one so for now uh, we will be uploading one Okay, we already have one here this is the image I'm looking for but since um, this pop-up is up I just upload let's look for it click on what I'm looking for Okay, click on continue. The image will load here. So our image has been uploaded successfully. Let's go down to see what we've got. Okay, so that is so um, on this. Uh, side of the of this um, page you will see how your advert will be looking at on different um, on different uh, places on different positions this is mobile news feed we have desktop news feed we have a um, right column let's look at right column right column is adverts that appear somewhere at the right here it's coming up Can you see how it's going to appear at the right column? We have video feeds. Let's see how it's going to appear in video feeds. Okay, it can't work now because we're using a text instead of a text and an image instead of a video. Okay, so let's take it back. So at this point, you come here and click on them. Learn more. Learn more about a call to action. Uh, what do you want to tell people to use? I mean to I mean I mean to do. And most times, learn more is is is, is preferable. And or you click on download or use download, meaning that when when they are, when they scroll down, after reading, they they just see download. Can you see download? Is it download? So when you're done editing your ad and writing your ad copy then all you need to do is to click on confirm when you click on confirm facebook will have to uh, verify your ad and scrutinize it then to be confirmed you said we have one error fixed remove instagram as placement okay See, because the selected instagram account does not have a provide photo Okay, so let's change the placement let me come to this point placement let's uncheck instagram okay this is placement the reason why i didn't approve instagram is because um my 
Instagram account does not have a photo. It was stated there, the reason was stated there. So, when Facebook rejects your ad or finds an error, they will tell you the reason. So, Instagram is out. So, let's click on next. Come continue and see what is going to be the outcome. Okay. No Instagram account. So, let's come down. Let's click on confirm. So once um, your ad is being confirmed, they will bring you to your ad manager. Okay, fine. This is it. In draft, some they will tell you in review. So once it is done, once it is activated, they will send you a notification. And you start seeing the results of your ad. So and I need you to understand that um, in running, in running your advert on Facebook, you must pay attention to the image you'll be using, the photo, and the um, uh, text text copy, the ad copy of your advert, and the headlines you'll be using. So I'll be talking about that briefly. Uh, in a bonus video I'll be sharing with you subsequently on some Facebook ad mistakes you need to avoid so so far this is how to um, run um, advert on Facebook I will be sharing with you some videos on how to use Facebook pixel and the understanding what Facebook pixel is all about then I will also how to use Facebook audience insight so thank you um, just like as I promised, if you have any issue, just um, send me a message and I will be there to reply you in one more time. I'll be there to coach you and guide you and help you to make sure that you start making yourselves. So thank you and see you in our next video.